Hi right, guys. God, I hate this. There's a part of the camera where, you know, first of all, welcome to apparently part two of a one year anniversary video of mine, of my channel. God almighty. I tried to take a picture, because uh, apparently I can do that, but I keep screwing up the recording. Anyway, as you know, I was talking about the freaking class picture crap. And sorry about the abrupt ending. I hate this camera sometimes. There's a I do this by accident. I don't know how. There's a part where I can click a picture while the recording's still happening. But I swear, I can't make this up. Every time it's happened, it's been a freaking accident. Anyway, blah, blah, back to this. I'm sorry for part two. For this being two parts. I apologize. It should have been one take. In fact, this was supposed to be one video. <laughs> But it was too long, so I had to start over. Anyway, Zachary Williams, not the best friend, not the greatest friend of mine as a kid because we didn't talk that much. Because, as I said, I'm not wasn't the best vocal per social person. But yeah, next person, um, Melina Andil. This girl, I do not remember her that much, and I'm sorry that I don't because I wish I did. Uh, then there's me. That's idiot. Uh. Mariah Siebler. I, again, I don't remember her that well because I didn't know Malik Swanson. I have no memory of this guy. I don't know who he was. I don't remember who this guy was. And I apologize. To all these people who I don't remember who probably don't even remember me. I, I'm sorry. Dan... What the heck? Daniel Heminger? I don't know if that's her or someone's absent. Kylie St. John, black hair, this little girl right here. I do remember Kylie. Uh, she was, again, one of the smartest people in our class. And um, not a good... We didn't talk in elementary school, but in middle school and high school, we did talk sometimes, but I, I think she just thought it was crazy. I don't know if she remember me or not. Uh, it is Miss Powell, yeah. One of my favorite teachers. Oh, this one is Miss Klein. Miss Powell was one of my, if not my favorite teacher in elementary school because, as I said, I was never scared, but she was awesome. Um, Kinsey Baum. I'm guessing that's orange hair. And then there's Amina Sharon. I don't know who these two are, and I apologize. Second row. Jada Jones. I remember Jada, but not that much. Brittany Kendall, along with Kylie, was one of the smartest people in my class. So, since the fact I was an idiot and didn't talk, we didn't exactly... I remember we did have to partner up a few times, if I remember correctly, but... It was hard working with... It was always hard working with me since I was always a silent person. Uh, next up, the, who the camera's focused on. Um, Madison Hargreaves. Do not remember her, and I apologize. Next up, Asia Salazar. Story about Asia. Um... In elementary school, she would. She was a person who bullied me a lot, along with a girl named. Um, why is it? Black dress, um, poofed her black hair. Asia was a person who did a lot of the time. There were a few people who bullied me, and weirdly enough, they were all girls. I don't know. Cartoon logic, that means they liked me, but I don't freaking know. Maybe they just hated how I looked and how I acted, because I acted like myself and then put up a mask. Well. <clears throat> anyway, about that. Hey, there were a few others who believed me. I remember all their names, by the way. It was Asia Salazar, Mackenzie Henning, and... Ah, uh, man. One of the names was, if I remember correctly, Rachel. I believe. Was it Rachel? Oh my god, this is embarrassing, because I talked to her... I talked to her a lot, In the third person I can't remember, um... Rachel Salazar, there it is. Rachel put me through mental torture. I was in a dark place when I was a kid. I'm not going to go into that. Rachel definitely was a dark place for me. But in high school, I'm glad that we did start to get along a lot more in science class. Uh, I was an idiot in that class, by the way. I had to get moved out of that class um but i do i am so, if she ever does like if she does still remember me um and she does 
it is a rare occurrence that she watches my videos. Um, I am. There's a moment in science class where I feel like our friendship was ruined. Where ugh, I hate talking about this. this is so embarrassing, and I hated it. There was a moment where Rachel came up behind me, whispered my name into my ear, but instead of just having a normal reaction, just saying, like turning your head or anything, I idiot idiotically did this. Because I thought it was one of my friends playing like a joke on me, or it's just oh god, I hate it, that memory. I hate it because Rachel was such a nice person when I read when I saw her again, and oh my god, I feel like that memory just that one moment. I feel like I almost I kind of lost a friend. I hated it. Okay, next, moving to something happy. Jeez, what the hell? The camera's on. The camera's on. Uh, next girl. Sophia Bicek. I don't... This girl was possibly... I had two best friends. One was Nathan Zimmerman, who... I only knew as a... I always knew as, like, a baby. I knew him as, since I was a baby. But we didn't exactly get along that well after... As we started growing up, he kind of changed people. Signed who we were and that kind of stuff. Sophia Bicek... One of the nicest, smartest, most artistically gifted people I have ever met in my life. And this is gonna sound crazy. One of my favorite moments with Sophia is um, as a kid, I would always draw Pokemon. Even even up to um, middle school, I would do this. I would draw Pokemon on random sheets of paper, and I would get. I would ask Sophia what her favorite Pokemon are. And every time she'd answer, I would draw her special special drawings. Because she truly was my best friend in elementary school. She was the first friend I ever made in elementary school. She's the one that helped me when I first started school, when I was sad and was crying when my mom left me. She was the one that helped me smile. And I thank my star every time I get a chance. Mentally, I thank the stars in the, on heaven's pearly gates that was allowed to meet Sophia. She was truly a guiding light to me. Then I reunite with her in middle school, and I see that she is dating someone. I forget the guy's name. And I remember saying to him, you are one a lucky person to be dating Sophia. I make jabs out of me, I laugh, and um, another memory that always has stuck with me with Sophia is um, in elementary school, I was, it was winter, uh, and as you know with elementary school kids in winter, there was a snowball fight across the basketball court, if you know where the Liberty Elementary School is, the little circle with the basketball hoops. Anyway, uh, I make the stupid mistake of walking to the basketball court um, in the middle of a snowball fight. I get nailed right here with not a snowball, but an ice ball, which is my way of saying it was a snowball with an ice coating on it. Or it was ice with snow. I get paled in the head. And Sophia's the one that helps me to a teacher to alert what had happened. And I, anything that's happened to me a lot of the time, Anything that's nice been brought to me, anything that Sophia's done, I thank her every time I could get. And, um, when I told the guy that he was lucky, I told her, I don't know if I told her this or if I think it, but I told her, treat her like a queen, because that's what she is. She's a queen. She's royalty, she's elegance, she's beauty, she's smart. Artistic. You can look her up. She has the online. There's these drawings of Sophia. They are beautifully created. Wait. Uh, then in high school, freshman year, I see her again. And I ask, How's your boyfriend? How are you doing? How's the relationship? She tells me, and Sophia, I'm sorry if this is, if I'm telling you this and you didn't want me to say, if you ever. What am I saying? I never had a YouTube channel until like last year. But 
she told me that they broke up because, in my words, he became an a-hole. And, oh man. I said, I'm sorry to hear that. If there's anything I could do, let me know, and that kind of stuff. There was one thing I wanted to tell her. Or more likely, I wanted to ask her. I wanted to ask her if she would like to go out sometime, see a movie or something like that. But I didn't. And the reason I didn't, I did not, if that doesn't come in clear sometimes, I don't care. The reason I didn't is because I didn't want to be known as, a, I don't want to be known as a person who asks a girl out that they like the minute or the second they find out that they are not in a relationship, that they broke up. I don't even know, I don't know how long they have been broken up, but I didn't want to do that because that just sounds like it's such a jerk move, so. Also, if you're wondering, no, I never did. I did ask Sophia out eventually, but, and now, you guys would probably say this is a lie or a way to say no. I believe Sophia with this. She said her parents wanted her to focus on studying, which I could believe. She is so smart. She's an A-plus student. If I remember correct, I know Sophia. She was smart. She was an A-plus student in my book. Getting off track off Sophia. Okay. Audrey, no, if I can't remember the name, I don't remember the person. So, this girl right here, I don't remember. Audrey, oh, great too. Audrey. Doan, I don't remember her. Next up, Brianna Morris. I do remember Brianna, just like with Sophia and Bri Brianna and just like Sophia, Brittany, and Kylie. They are some of the smartest people I know. Final row. Uh, for, uh, Douglas Striped Shirt, I believe. I don't remember him. Tyler Visek. I do remember Tyler. Not that much, though. Andrew Moore. Sorry, Andrew. I don't remember you. Sorry, man. Michael Day. He was one of my best friends in um, elementary school and growing up. He was fun. He was a funny guy. He always seemed to get into trouble. Eric Kearns. Don't remember Eric Brian Bra Brian Brayton. Good guy. He, I was he was always a good friend of mine. When we were kids, we grew apart. Like ninety percent of these people, I do not ever see. A hundred percent of people, I never see at all today. And then there's Tyler Larue. I do remember Tyler since he always was like with lunch. He was always sit with me, uh, Tyler and Michael. Anyway, enough. Emotion grab enough visiting down memory road. Um, I just want to say one thing. I'll put the camera back up here. I just want to say thank you for being with me. Again, thank you for being with me through this crazy journey, this crazy year. And I promise you, there's a lot more insanity to come. And again, I say. If you have a topic for me to talk about, you can leave it in the comments below. So, just a side note, I did get another pop. I didn't make a video on this because I didn't feel like it. It's Dr. Evil to go with Austin Powers. Um, so, yeah. One year on YouTube. This is what I got to show for it, huh? <laughs> just kidding. Um... Right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I can all see you again June 28th, 2020, when I celebrate our birthday, I guess I should say, whatever. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks, guys. Stay tuned.